to work. Oh, to tell the truth, I had forgotten. Yeah, and I still haven't wrapped Peter Jr.'s present. Would you like me to do that for you before I leave? Well, thank you, sweetheart. That would help enormously. I'd be glad to. I'll do it right now. Oh, now's my chance. Chance for what? Uh, I still haven't been able to look and see if she needs a new wallet. Why don't you go uh, stand at the bottom of the stairs and scream or faint or something if she comes down? What did you do? Set up this whole thing about wrapping the baby's package? No, absolutely not. She's just been so good and, and thoughtful and helpful lately. I feel that we're really on our way to being friends again, which is the very best Christmas present I could have. Well, considering the two people involved, I knew it was going to work out. You were right. Go stand guard. Aye, aye, sir. Breakfast, Leslie. Thank you. I'm glad you liked it. Oh, here it is. What do you think? Well, I think you did great with it. Thanks, Rick. See, you look all right? I think it's lovely. Thank you for doing it. No problem. Les, I think we better get going, honey. Yeah, uh... I don't know where I put my coat. <laughs> it's right there. <laughs> I think you're gonna have to take a good long rest after the holidays, honey. <laughs> to, to get through cackling, I'll be in the car. What's the matter with you this morning? I can't imagine. Well, what happened since I went upstairs to wrap the present? Nothing, as far as I know. But she did seem to get jumpy all of a sudden. Strange. Yeah, maybe it's just the Christmas rush. You know it'd be nice, honey, if uh, you could have Christmas, Christmas dinner, <laughs> Christmas dinner. You could have dinner ready for us tonight when we get back from the Taylor house. What do you say? Sure, I'll be glad to. Thank you, sweetheart. I think that you're going to be a great joy to me in my old age. <laughs> for you in the clinic. You taking a break? Yeah, I figured I needed one. Rough day, huh? So rough, I'm really glad it's almost over. Well, talk to me, baby, okay? Okay. About what's been bothering you. Maybe I can help. Ah, uh, yes, well, I wouldn't even know where you can begin. Is it, uh, something that I've done? Uh, no, of course not. Is it Laura, then? Uh, I think maybe I better talk to her about it first. Well, what happened? I mean, this morning, I, I thought that all the tension had eased between you two and that all the problem times were over. Yeah, so did I. Am I intruding? No, Monica, of course not. If we wanted privacy, we wouldn't be in the lounge. I will meet you in the garage in 15 minutes, okay? Okay. What is it with you, anyway? What is what with me, anyway? Why is it you feel that you have to make some kind of nasty comment every time you run into Leslie? Was I doing that? I don't know what's gotten into me. You know damn well that you do it. Now, Leslie told me about the little talk she had with you last night. She said that she was genuinely trying to apologize. Well, that skill comes hard to some people. Yeah, so does being gracious. Gracious? To whom are that I have to be gracious? Look, Monica, if you're unhappy and alone, maybe it's time that you realize that it's your own fault and you stop trying to take it out on other people. David, how's it going? Oh, fine, fine. I just uh, finished my physiotherapy session on the way home. Great. How'd it go? Well, it went good, you know, stronger than ever. <laughs> That's good. Hey, look, I uh, wanted to ask you a question. I was... Uh, thinking maybe I could help take some of this holiday workload off Leslie, and I was wondering if there was anything I could do. No, there's nothing I can think of. Wait a minute, maybe there is something you can do. Hey, you name it. Okay, well, Les and I are gonna stop off at the Taylor house for a little while. We planned on decorating the tree when we got home, but, well, Les is mighty tired, and uh, if you and Laura could start decorating it, I think it might help. Oh, sure, yeah, I'd be glad to. Hey, that ought to help get everybody in the old Christmas spirit, huh? Well, I'll do my best to get a lesson to the Christmas spirit. I'll see you later. Yeah, yeah, right. What took so long? See the traffic out there. It's murder. Yeah? 
Merry Christmas, Leslie. Merry Christmas. Now well, listen, if uh, you give me your coats, I'll get you some eggnog. Perfect timing. I only drink eggnog during the Christmas season. Christmas, <laughs> too. Hello. Hello. I was just admiring your tree. Did you decorate it yourself? Uh, well, almost, except uh, that one. Peter put it on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is Peter Jr. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautifully wrapped. I'm going to hate opening it. Well, Laura did the wrapping. She seems to have a knack for wrapping. Oh. Yes, I found out too late. If I'd only known a little earlier, I could have given her oh. all of the Christmas wrapping. <laughs> Which uh, reminds me, honey, you didn't tell me. Did you get a look at Laura's wallet? Yeah, she doesn't need a new one. Uh-huh. All that subterfuge for nothing, huh? Not exactly for nothing. Oh, why didn't you bring Laura along? Oh, she's home cooking. Surprise dinner for her mother. Ooh, and you better not let her know that I blew it. Laura's just full of surprises these days. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Leslie. Hi. Here we go again. I guess I better go try and pacify her. Hey, I hope I didn't upset Leslie. Well, Laura just came in to wrap a package for me. Well, you, you know me. I'm all thumbs at that sort of thing. Yeah, it's too bad it had to happen tonight. Leslie's been kind of jumpy, nervous, and high-strung all day. It was, it was perfectly innocent, Rick. I know. The trick is going to be convincing Leslie of that. I'll see you later. Jeff, hey, you have to have a cup of coffee? Oh, Rick, I'm sorry, I'm afraid I don't at the moment. I just got these test reports back from the lab, and I've got Lana Holbrook waiting in the examining room for the results. Okay. But I'll tell you what, as soon as I release her, I'll meet you in the cafeteria, all right? Fine. Then I'll go check up on one of my patients, and I'll meet you there. All right. Oh, Rick. Is Leslie feeling any better this morning? <sighs> She's, uh, about the same. She's jumpy, uptight. She seems concerned about something, but uh, she doesn't want to discuss it. Anyway, did uh, did you go out and see Mrs. Grant last night? Yeah. I can tell you it was pretty grim. She'd hoped that Heather would at least give her a call on Christmas to let her know that she was all right. But she didn't even hear a word. Listen, I gotta run. I'll see you later, okay? Okay. Rick, I'm sorry if I kept you waiting. I was on my way down, but I ran into an old friend. Oh, it's okay. I've been boning up on the latest developments in the field of cardiology. It's uh, very exciting. It was Heather. Really? Yeah, I couldn't believe it myself. Well, you've got to be relieved to know where she is. Is she all right? Yeah, she looks okay. A little tired. She's been on the bus all night. Well, how long is she going to be in Port Charles? Well, she's being very vague about that, but I hope uh, long enough for us to talk some things out. I hope so, too. I know it's been bothering you a lot. I mean, all that she's been through, losing the baby. You two have a lot to talk over. It's been pretty rough on her. Yeah, it's been pretty rough on you, too. You know, she, she put you through a lot of misery. Yeah, I haven't forgotten about that. But I have a feeling that... Uh, Everything that's happened to her has changed her quite a bit. Answers to the questionnaires. Alan, a belated Merry Christmas. And the same to you. Thank you. Dory, hello again. Hello. I, I listen, I understand you may have a problem making that copter run that we scheduled you for. Uh, since we've got three runs in three days, I'll see if I can switch you around. Monica tells me that you've got a party plan, but if it's for the evening, you'll be back in plenty of time. No, if that's the case, let's stick with the schedule. It's possible that um, we're going to have to postpone the party anyway. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Leslie just uh, hasn't been feeling the best these last few days. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. But we will stick to the schedule, right? Yes, for sure. I'll tell you, what I'd like to do is uh, I'd like to take the controls for a few minutes, if it's all right with the pilot. My uh, license is still in force. I'm sure he'll let you fly the whole run if you want to. Great. Shall we get back to work? Sounds like an admirable suggestion. I'm going to do the same myself. Excuse me. Oh. Hello, Dory. Junior, don't try to thought you'd have left by now. I'm on my way, I hope. Get out of a meeting with Quartermain and Monica. Yes, this is Dr. Weber. How's my patient doing? I see. All right, I'll stop in before I leave. Thank you. Dr. Weber, say hi to Laura for me, okay? Will do. Night. Night. Good night. Hey, 
Hello, darling. Sorry I'm late. Oh, I'm just glad you're here now. Oh, Alan Quartermain called this last-minute meeting on the new cardiac wing. I tried to call you, but there was no answer. Oh, I was helping David with his new place. Uh -huh. How's everything going for him? Uh, fine, I guess. Uh -huh. Alan is completely optimistic about getting the grant for this new wing. Oh, he's got some great plans, too. You ought to hear them. They're really exciting. Oh, good. And if everything goes as planned, it's going to be a big step forward for the hospital. And for your husband. <laughs> Alan has asked me for my advice on every aspect of the project. And that's very flattering. I mean, everything from working with the architect to suggesting the final staff. All the plans right from the very top to the bottom. Uh, hello. You haven't even heard a word I've been saying, have you? I'm sorry. Oh, is there something wrong? Uh, no. No, I will not hit you with my problems the minute you walk through the door. Oh, there's no such thing as your problems or mine. There are problems now, remember? Thank you. But this one seems to be a little more mine than ours. Laura again. Yeah. Oh, we had, a, we had another argument. She's more resentful than ever. About what? About the new ground rules. Maybe it wasn't such a good idea for the two of us to have confronted her together because she accused me again of trying to turn you against her and bring you over to my side. Uh-huh. Now, maybe I'll have a little talk with her. Is she up in a room now? Yes, but please don't. Not until we've had a chance to talk it out. What's there to talk about? I just have to set her straight on my position, that's all. No, please don't do that. She'll think I sent you up there. She's, she's, she's more convinced than ever before that we are taking sides against her. We've taken a stand, not sides. Laura has to understand that we have no intention of reversing that stand. At least until she changes her attitude. She won't. Especially not if we both come down hard on her. She'll rebel more. Okay, Leslie. What do you want me to do? Just tell me. I don't. I, I wish you could have been here when she came home tonight. I had an important meeting, honey. I told you that. I know. But since you were the one who had set down the ground rules... Whoa, wait a minute. Are you trying to say that uh, all this happened because of me? It was my fault? No, of course not. Just as long as we had confronted her together about that. It uh, might have been a little easier for me if you had been here to help me back up our position. Our position doesn't need any backing up. And I can't be here 24 hours a day in the event that you and Laura have still another misunderstanding. Rick, you missed my point. No, I don't think I have. Look, both of us have lives apart from our life with Laura, professional lives. I'm going to have a lot of meetings the next couple of months with Alan Quartermain. We're going to be working evenings. We're going to be working weekends. I didn't know that. It's important to us, honey, to our future. You know, I was so excited when I came in here. I, I couldn't wait to tell you the news. And bam, you hit me with this problem about Laura. And uh, it's all over now. And here we are back on the same topic again. Well, I'm sorry, but it's, it's something that's important to me. Hey, it's important to me, too, but not to the exclusion of everything else. Oh, honey, I'm sorry. Maybe we shouldn't even be talking about this now. I mean, we're both tired, and... What I really want to say is... I'm going to have to find a way of dealing with Laura's problems without letting them take over our lives. I don't want that to happen. But it is happening. I know you can't see it because you're too close to it. But it is. I mean, we haven't had time to spend with each other. Look, I'll tell you what. I'm going to go upstairs change my clothes. When I come back, maybe I'll have my wife again to talk with instead of just Laura's mother. <laughs>